you'll be fine. You know, anybody that plays every play, competes um, every possession like he does is going to be successful. You know, you have, if you have a your motor running and you have a work ethic, I don't think you can ever not be successful. All the trips to the foul line he gets, is that a skill unto itself? You know, I don't know. I don't know how many how many times we go to the free throw line. I, you know that that remains to be seen. But um, he gets extra possessions. He hustles. You know, big guys in our league don't like to block out. They don't run on every play. Um, they don't rebound every ball. So if you have the mentality to do those things, you have a chance. And he's a He's a much better athlete than most people do. Um, he's obviously good well coached. Came from a pretty good program, so and he's used to winning and doing the right thing. So I, I think he's going to be fine. Uh, our league has a tendency to talk about what guys can't do, and that's I think that's silly, especially with a kid like him. How much of any of a difference does it make when you see a guy who comes in here who's had four years in college versus guys that are coming in as early entries? Well, I'm, you know, it depends. A lot of high school kids that have been ready, you know. But I, I, I think it always helps uh, when you, uh, you play in a real solid program and, um, and you've been really well coached. Uh, the transition's much easier, and then, uh, you know, being 22 and 18 or 19 is a big difference, um, physically and, and emotionally. I mean, not every kid's the same way, and not everybody graduating college is mature enough to play in our league, just like not every, you know, 19-year-old, but you certainly have a better chance, I think, of making the adjustment if you stay. And uh, I think the guys that I've, I've seen that have been in programs for four years, um, they have a tendency to be better prepared. And they generally go to teams that have won. You know, we kind of draft the four-year guys late in first rounds, and they go to winning teams. And they're able to handle, you know, being on good teams that the young kids go to teams that have lost and I don't think they they have the right things around them sometimes and there's a lot of undue pressure placed on them. Well, let's go back and who was some of the first round picks sure. over that time. There's some pretty good ones. Yeah. So, but I, I'm getting nervous that it's going to turn the other way because high school kids are wanting to go to Europe now. And, you know, I'm, I'm not opposed to kids uh, coming out and earning a living, but I wish we were closer to baseball. Let them come out in high school if they really want to come out, but if they make a commitment to go to college, let them stay three years. And I think we'd have the best of both worlds. Because years and years ago, with freshmen and eligible, you played three years of varsity. And, but I, I'd like to see, you know, a kid have, have the ability to come out after high school and then if if not stay three years because then he you know they're working toward a degree um, they're getting well coached it'll help our college game and I think it'll ultimately really help the pro game because we have we have marvelous coaches in college and it's the greatest minor league system I think you can have.